Ray hits a couple of those shots. I mean, look, the execution from Indiana defensively has been there all night. In a case like this for Chelsea Gray, who just crossed the 1,300 assists threshold. A couple of big shots with players draped on her. Eight-point deficit here under 40 seconds to go. Oh, Mitchell just drops Wilson. <laughs> Couldn't get the shot to go and a loose ball foul on Las Vegas. Was he put on roller skates in that last time out? I'm Did I miss that? I'm still stunned uh, there. I mean, I, I wish that ball would have been able to go into the basket, but my goodness, the way that she's able to shift and just get your body going one way or the other, putting on skates is, is the least of it. Sadly, the hometown aces don't want to show that again. We apologize. 30 seconds left. Mitchell misses on a three. Rebound Smith. Knocked out of bounds off of Las Vegas. And Becky Hammond will challenge this. And challenges can only be initiated, or I should say, out of bounds calls can only be reviewed by an initiated challenge. So Isaac Barnett, Jeff Wood, and Catherine Chang will take a look at this one. Beaver almost assuredly needs this call to go their direction here to have a chance. Let's take another look. Let's tell there, see if you get a look from this angle. Yeah, maybe off of the right hand of Smith. There's a hit off of Young there. By her body. Here's another angle. Yeah, from that angle, it does look like it might have been off Smith. Yeah. Is that clear enough? have won 10 straight against the Indiana Fever. That dates back to 2019. But the two games that they have been tested the most, where they have been delivered a scare at the highest level, have both been this season. That 10-point lead by Indiana in the fourth quarter. In fact, in two of these three games this year, the Fever have had fourth quarter leads. Well, that's not going to show up in the win-loss column. There's plenty to build on in a game like this. And the Fever will get to a point, Bria. And it may even come later this year. It may come next season. Where a loss like this, you're fully disappointed in it. What I mean by that is it's disappointing to lose a game where you had a fourth quarter lead. Please do not misunderstand. But there right now is just so many, po there are just so many positives to take away in a performance like this. And I know Christy Sides is going to be frustrated with this nine-point loss. But if you've been with us, especially the last couple of years, the things that you are seeing on a night-in, night-out basis against top-level competition like this just were not happening. Nowhere close to this level recently. Exactly. They have to be proud of themselves. But also, like you said, disappointed of just coming up short yet again. And that starts to weigh on you as a player. You know, you're, you're doing the things and moving in the right direction. But it's almost like you're just getting uh, to the sweet spot and then it all comes crashing down. And being able to come over that uh, is just being able to trust the process. Uh, you got to trust the coaching staff that they're getting you ready. Trust that you can make the shot when it's time to make the shot. But getting in there mentally, it can definitely be draining. Last year against Las Vegas, those final two games, the Fever lost by 25 and 21. The Aces this year have beaten six of the 12 teams that they've beaten. They've won those games by 20 or more. They will sweep the season series against Indiana. But none of those three wins were easy. And two of them 
by single digits. Two of them where the Fever have a lead in the fourth quarter. You saw plenty to like if you're Indiana and plenty of reasons why Las Vegas is a favorite to repeat. Yeah, absolutely.